this is Carl from SLO Sail and Canvas, and today we're going to go over sticking down some sail insignias. Um, here we have some insignias for the AMF puffer. Um, this particular insignia is going to be a back to back insignia, so that the two uh, jumping dolphins are back to back on the sail. If you're doing a, an insignia that is staggered, one insignia higher than the other. You probably want to look at our um, video on sticking uh, sail numbers down that may be more appropriate. Um, where this logo will, or where this method works really well is with logos that need to be precisely back to back to look good, as well as more complicated and detailed uh, logos. This puffer logo is both. We have some really uh, fine strips to stick down, um, some big negative spaces, and uh, we want the logos to come out nicely back to back. I have the tools laid out here that we'll need, so we obviously have the insignias. Um, here I have a piece of mylar monofilm that is plenty big to encompass our entire logo. You can use anything from like a stiff craft paper to uh, mylar. We're using mylar because it's see-through, so it's a lot easier to get the logos to line up back to back. Um, I have a dental pick here, um, really just any sharp implement to help you uh, pull the carrier paper away will be helpful. Um, a pencil to mark for alignment, some scissors to do any trimming on the logo that we didn't catch when we cut it. And I have some Super 77 adhesive here to allow us to very lightly adhere the logo to the mile. Um, the Super 77 seems to work best. Um, you may be able to use other spray adhesives too, but it is our favorite. Um, I also have a T-square ruler here to help with alignment and get this uh, looking correct on the sail. Okay, so now we're going to go over aligning the logos and putting them on the sail. So we've already taken a look at some stock puffer sails and seen what the puffer insignia is supposed to look like on the sail. Um, and I urge you to do some looking online. Also reference your class rules about exactly where the logo should go. Now the puffer doesn't have any class rules so we have some latitude there, um, but we want to make it look normal. So um, I'm going to use the T-square here. We did some when we did some looking. Uh, this mast is pretty vertical. There's basically no rig to this mast at all. Um, the uh, our dolphin here is jumping is going to jump towards the front of the sail. We're going to get it reasonably centered in the panel, and in what we've seen, it looks like the uh, the mouth is above the tail. So, again, just as you line up your logo for your boat, try to look at what those uh, parameters would be and get things lined up pretty well. Now, I'm going to put a couple of very light marks on the sail, so when we get this set up with the mylar and all the adhesive is off, we get it in exactly the right spot the first time. So I'm going to put a little T-shaped mark right at the nose of the dolphin. And I'm going to put a little T-shaped mark right at the end of the tail. So we have this centered fore and aft in the panel, and it's in the middle, uh, top to bottom. So next we're going to move on to um, sticking the sticking the insignia down. Okay, so here we have a piece of mylar and we have our spray adhesive. I'm going to spray very, very lightly onto this piece of mylar. It's just good enough to hold this on on a temporary basis. This is a misting adhesive, and 
so particles of the adhesive will kind of float a lot of places. So best do in a windless spot, very light coating. I'm going to wait a little bit. Now we don't want any adhesive to transfer onto our insignia. So I'm just going to push my finger down in a few spots and wait. Usually waiting about 30 to 45 seconds, uh, maybe a minute. And we want this just to be lightly tacky. Uh, but not to transfer any glue. Uh, so keep your insignia looking nice. I think we're good. So I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to apply just some gentle, gentle pressure to it. Now I'm going to take the dental pick and remove our negative space from this. This is really where the mylar comes in handy with complex shapes. If you're trying to stick down this thin of a ribbon on your own, you wouldn't have a very good chance of success. Here we have the, our dolphin stuck to one side of the mylar, and I'm going to stick the other side down right now. So this is going to enable us to accurately stick the second half of the dolphin down back to back we're going to be able to reposition them as needed. That feels pretty good. Let's try it out here. This looks really good. I have things lined up within half a millimeter or less. You can also buy pre-cut, pre-computer cut insignia from us uh, by phone or on our website. We have most common classes available. Okay. So now both sides match very exactly. Okay. Now that we have the uh, insignia stuck to both sides of the mylar, I'm going to check it really quickly. Make sure I feel good about sticking this down. So I see where the nose is. Tip of the nose, tip of the tail, and when we set it down, it'll be just like that. We give one smooth wipe, and we'll take care of the other side of the tail. Okay. I'm going to use our sharp tool to just remove, very carefully remove the uh, paper carrier while leaving the insignia cloth stuck to the sail. This is virtually impossible without gluing this to something else. Also, I'm not worried about t um, tearing the paper away. 
I'm also not touching the adhesive with my fingers, so the insignia adhesive will stay nice and strong. Just set it down, that's it. And I'm going to very, very gently lift the mylar and the insignia will be in place. That's a pretty perfect result there. I'll use a pencil eraser and just gently erase my marks. put the other logo down will have to be more precise with alignment and it may help to have a helper for the second for the second side of the zip. Okay, Alright, so we're gonna peel the uh, the second side. Of our puffer logo. And for this step, you will definitely want a helper, especially if it's a large or complex logo. Uh, in the shop here, we have done logos up to about eight feet by eight feet. This way with some very, very fine details. Um, you might have seen this uh, fin here lift. And so I'm just gonna gently tap it back down. I think this piece is sticking, hopefully just enough. All right, so I've gently pushed this um, insignia back in contact with the fabric and we're gonna put it down on the sail. Now is a good time to have your helper gently float this right above the part. Get it as close as you can. Try to look through the panel and then just set it down right onto the sail. Nice and smooth. Okay. Usually starting from a spot that's more solid will be helpful. I'm gently peeling the, uh, the mylar away. And you can see we've done a perfect back-to-back -back logo pretty quickly and easily. Now is a good time to make sure that the parts are adequately stuck to the sail. I'm using the back of my fingernail on these little wispy parts and gently pushing into the fabric to smooth it. I'm always pushing off the edge of the logo such that you don't catch any of these parts and peel them up. The adhesive on these insignias will have a greater hold the longer they are on the sail. And obviously we're putting this down on clean and dry material. Um, if you do saltwater sail your boat, I would recommend cleaning the sail with a damp towel um, and allowing it to dry before doing this process.